Welcome to the first tutorial video in the three-part series on how to clean up your Canvas courses and get ready for the new semester. In this first video, we'll cover how to add and remove courses from your dashboard and how to add custom course titles and dashboard images for your courses. Let's dive in. Here I have my Canvas dashboard. By default, only the courses for the current term will show. Your dashboard may also show manually created courses like Sandbox or Practice courses or even PDC training courses like the Tech Tools course. Click on Courses and then select All Courses to see all of your previous and future courses. This is also where you can add stars to your favorite courses so they show up on your dashboard regardless of semester. Please keep in mind, every time you add a star to a course, it will stay on your dashboard as a favorite until you remove that star. Sometimes cleaning up your dashboard is as simple as removing stars from old courses. To remove a star, click it. Another way you can manage your dashboard is to change the way your courses appear or change their order. By default, your dashboard has this card view, but you could also choose to view your courses in a list or arrange them by recent activity. To change the view, click the three vertical dots to the top right of your dashboard. We recommend using the default card view. This view also allows you to move and reorder your courses on the dashboard. Just click the three vertical dots on the course card and select Move to choose where it should go. You'll notice there's also an option to add a nickname here. Adding a nickname allows you to set a private name for your courses that only you can see. For example, let's say you have two sections of English 1A. Like these two. The first section meets on Monday nights and the second meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You might choose to nickname them with the section number or just call one Monday and the other Tuesday Thursday. If you have several course shells with the same content, you might consider combining them into a single course shell. This is called cross-listing, and it might be a good option if you have two course sections that point to the same readings, assignments, quizzes, files, etc. You even have the ability to take attendance, enter grades, and set due dates separately for each section in the same course shell. To cross-list your courses, fill out the appropriate request form, which you can find by clicking on Help, then Canvas Request Forms. If you don't want to move, rename, or cross-list your courses, you can also delete or conclude old courses, and that happens in your course settings. Your course settings will also allow you to add a custom course photo and update the global name of your course, which students will see updated on their own dashboards. Let's take a look at our course settings to see how we can make these global changes. Right here towards the top, you can update the photo for your course card and the global name of your course. Remember, photo and course name changes in settings will be seen by students, unlike adding a private nickname to your course. If the course has been manually created, you can conclude it, which will remove it from the dashboard and place it into an archive state. You can also delete the course entirely, but in general, we recommend concluding courses rather than deleting them just to be safe. Concluded courses can be found under Courses, then All Courses. That's it for this video. You should now be able to clean up your dashboard by adding or removing stars from your favorite courses, move courses around on your dashboard, and rename your courses either by adding a private nickname or by editing a global name for your course. 
you should also be able to get into the course settings to conclude or delete a manually created course. For the next video, you'll want to stay in your course settings and we'll talk about how to use the navigation tab to adjust and clean up the navigation in your course. For more tutorials and training resources, visit www.hartnell.edu/pdc. Thanks for watching.